Let's deal today with the validation that appears once we open the Compose window. So now we are using this trick, which means that we are sending the first event. But if we remove that and we open, it's always there. So the validation is always there because this stream, the subject, seeds our stream with the first value, which is empty string or an ampersand sign. And this is not ideal because this will make some problems later on when we are, when we will be doing a validation of the whole form. So the best idea is to just initialize an empty uh, stream in this case. And now we have to do something else, something we need to revert some of our code. So I was talking about observer. But I was thinking about it and this is too clever for our use case. And eventually this will be different. I imagine it differently. But for now, let's do the plain solution using just stream builder. And the reason is that our observer is smart enough to distinguish between data error and waiting. And now we are not seeding the initial data, which means that the, the field would be in the waiting state. So it, we would see this circular indicator being shown because that's how we configure the default behavior for observer. So it's too clever. I over-engineered it here. We don't need that. So this will be just a builder and this part we will remove. So now we need to just specify the error text here. And because we are using the stream builder, this is a snapshot here. And uh, snapshot date, uh, snapshot error here. Yeah, so now the message disappeared. So let's go back. And if I start typing, there is the validation error and then it disappears once I hit the ampersand sign. So it's perfect, but as I said, this is just a temporary solution. I imagine it differently and we will cover that in one of the, of the future episodes. So for now, let's leave it like that using just a string builder. So the next step would be to add other fields. So we have three fields here. So let's do it by hand. Uh, so you see the, the pattern. So the next one is subject. So again, we need to expose the stream. So subject dollar sign. And this is on the uh, subject, subject, uh, the stream being taken from the behavior, uh, from the behavior subject, and we are transforming it and we will do validate uh, subject, which doesn't exist yet. We will create it in a moment. And the same for the sync. So we need a sync. So in this case, this will be in subject accessible. And finally, we need a body. So again, we are creating the behavior subject. We are exposing the stream. In this case, we won't be doing any transformation because body is not validated. There is no validation. And we will be exposing the, the sync as well from the body. So it's kind of repetitive. This will be improved again later on, just so you can see the, the, the pattern emerging here. So we are, we need uh, still the validate subject. So this is kind of similar to what we created here. Validate subject. This will be a transformer. We need to remove that part. We have to go back to our compose. Here is our validation. So we will just copy that code and we will paste it over here. So we need to do some changes. So instead of returning, we will do sync at error. 
similar here. Sorry about the typos. It's uh, strangely slow. Sync, okay, add. And again, we will just uh, pass the value to indicate that there is there's no errors. Because we are not displaying this value, we could pass anything here. Because that's the just the, that's the information for the listener, for the observer or stream builder, that everything is okay. But we are passing the value in case we need to display it um, in, the, in the UI at some point. So now there is the subject, so we can just uh, wrap this with a stream builder. And the stream will be manager, subject, snapshot. We don't need validation, we don't need on save. We need on change. So in this case, it will be in subject like that. And we need the error text. So once again, this is slightly magical, which means that if snapshot error is null, the, the error won't be displayed. And that's the reason we can do this uh, like that. So there's kind of like a logic here. And if it's not, if the stream returns an error, this is not null. And in that case, the field will be decorated with, with an error something to remember. So we have that. And here in the, for the body, it's a particular case. So we don't need to wrap it with the stream builder because we are not listening. We don't need to lis listen for the changes. We can just pass the data being typed into the body through the sync direct to the behavior subject. So there's no need to, to wrap it up. Okay, so let's see if it works. So now if I type the error, is there? I should have an error here, yeah. So if there is less than four characters or zero, it works as expected and with the message as well. Okay, so now it would be nice to send this, submit the form. So first of all, we don't need this part and we don't need this part any longer and here we will be doing something different so we will do we will ask the manager to submit the form for us so there will be a method in the manager but but first we need to check if the the whole form is valid so we will use manager for that and we will just check if there is data which means that we need to wrap the button with um, a stream builder and manager will provide a stream called is form valid so this will be a stream of true or error so if it's true, there is data and we can now submit the form. So this stream is form valid, will provide the, the data only if the, the whole validation is valid. And if not, it, it won't provide any data. So we will be waiting here. So here this if, we are checking if we receive some data and if we receive some data is the signal that the form, the whole form is valid, so we can do something. So we, are, in that case, we are asking the manager to submit and we are popping this screen off of the view or using the navigator uh, widget. So now we need to create those uh, two things. We need to create a, a stream and we need to create a method inside the manager. So let's go ahead and let's create first the submit. Let's grab the subject, which is a subject value, 
and let's grab the body because we only need those two to create a message and okay like that okay so let's create this is form valid method or other stream so this is a stream of booleans So I'm using the is prefix. This is another convention to designate that this returns Boolean values. And um, this will be something new. So here, in order to make sure that the form is valid, we need to get all those three streams. And if they provided, uh, if all of them provided values, it means that the form is valid. And I say values, not errors. If email is valid, we return the email. Otherwise, we return an error. So there is a method provided by Eric's Dart, which allows us to combine streams. So we, we give it a list of streams and in our case this will be email subject and body then we give it a function which is used to combine those uh, values so in our in our case in our scenario those streams those three streams will return a value not an error only if those fields, those particular fields are valid. So if we received those values, it means everything is okay, which means that we can just return true here. Okay, let me go over this once again. Those three streams, they either return value or an error. And combined latest watches only values, not errors. So if email stream, subject stream, and the object stream return values, it means that the validation passed because we are in this situation here that we are adding the value to the sync so that the stream produces this, um, this value, not the error. And it's the same here. So we are going through this case here and through this case, case here. And because body is just a stream, it will always emit an event, a value, if someone types something here. So combined latest will wait for all those three and only if all those three emitted a value, not an error, a value, then it will emit a value and it will be true. We could say anything, but true is to makes uh, the most sense. And then here and for the button, we wrap the button with a stream builder. So this is how we access the stream from the manager. So the, for, for the most cases, the stream will, uh, will be empty and we will be waiting here for the data for this, for this value true. And it will only arrive if all those three fields are okay. If not, we won't be entering here into this if. I cannot do anything because this is an empty. Uh, if we cannot enter here, the unpressed handler, this one, is empty. So now if all those three fields, so let's type something in the first one and now press. As you can see, I cannot do anything because there is an error. Now the first one emitted an event, but that's not enough. The second one emitted an event, not enough. The subject emitted an error, so that's not enough. We are still blocked. And once I provide all the three, 
I can now submit the, the form. To finish off uh, quickly, let's clean this. We don't need the key. We don't need the state here. We can remove that. Let's see if it works still. So yeah, I cannot. There you have it. Let's talk here and in the next episode or one of the next episodes, I will, I will show you my ideal or maybe close to ideal solution, how to do it uh, in a more concise and, and more elegant way. That's all for today. See you next time.